Have you ever wondered how one man could change the course of history for millions of people? Today, we delve into the life of Abraham Lincoln and his impact on black history. Born in a humble log cabin in Kentucky, Lincoln's journey to the presidency is a testament to the power of self-education and determination. His life was marked by a deepening understanding of the evils of slavery and a growing commitment to racial equality. As the 16th President of the United States, Lincoln's leadership during the Civil War, his Emancipation Proclamation, and his role in the passage of the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, left an indelible mark on the nation. Yet his legacy is not without controversy or debate. As we delve into Lincoln's life and impact, we'll explore these complexities, shedding light on the man behind the myth. Let's start at the beginning, with Lincoln's humble origins. He was the second child of Thomas and Nancy Hanks Lincoln, born on February 12, 1809. His early life was marked by hardship, the family facing numerous challenges, including poverty and the death of his mother when he was just nine. Despite these adversities, Lincoln developed a strong work ethic and an insatiable curiosity. He had limited formal education, a total of less than 12 months, However, he was an avid reader and taught himself, developing a love for learning that would stay with him throughout his life. This self-education played a crucial part in shaping his character and worldview. Lincoln's childhood experiences, his struggle against adversity, and his commitment to self-improvement instilled in him a sense of empathy and a desire for justice. These early experiences would shape the man who would become the 16th President of the United States. As Lincoln entered the political arena, his views on slavery and racial equality began to take shape. Starting his political journey in Illinois, Lincoln served in the state legislature and later in the U.S. House of Representatives. But it was his debates with Stephen Douglas that thrust him into the national spotlight. These debates were not just about political offices, but they were a battleground of ideologies a clash between the forces that sought to expand slavery and those that opposed it. Lincoln, a Republican, vehemently argued against the expansion of slavery into new territories. He saw slavery as morally wrong, believing in the fundamental truth that every person has the right to improve their condition in life and to benefit from their labor. But it's important to remember that Lincoln's views on slavery weren't static, they evolved over time. Initially, he was not an abolitionist. He did not demand an immediate end to slavery where it already existed, but was firmly against its expansion. His debates with Douglas were a turning point. As he argued against the spread of slavery, he also began to articulate a vision of a nation where all men could pursue their own happiness, regardless of their race. While he wasn't advocating for full racial equality at this point, his stance was still a radical departure from the norms of his time, this evolution in his beliefs wasn't a smooth journey. It was fraught with political dilemmas and personal introspection. But it was an evolution that would eventually lead Lincoln to issue the Emancipation Proclamation, a decision that would change the course of American history. Lincoln's stance against slavery was not without its critics. It was a stance that stirred controversy and inflamed tensions between the North and the South. But it was also a stance that defined Lincoln as a leader, a stance that would make him a central figure in the struggle for freedom and equality. His stance against the expansion of slavery would propel him to the presidency and ignite a nation divided. As president, Lincoln faced a nation on the brink of collapse. The United States was being torn apart by a brutal civil war, a fight between the North and the South, the Unionists and Confederates. At the heart of the conflict was the question of slavery, a practice that had marred the nation's conscience for far too long. Abraham Lincoln, a man of humble beginnings, was thrust into the epicenter of this tumultuous period. From his seat in the White House, he had to navigate the country through the deadliest conflict in its history, all while grappling with the weighty issue of slavery. In the thick of this turmoil, on the first day of January, 1863, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. This historic document declared that all people held as slaves within the rebellious states are and henceforward shall be free. 
It was a bold move, a beacon of hope for millions of enslaved African Americans. However, it's important to note the limitations of the proclamation. It didn't end slavery entirely, it applied only to the states that had seceded from the Union. The border states, loyal to the Union but still practicing slavery, were not affected. Furthermore, the proclamation relied on a Union victory to enforce its declarations. Despite these limitations, the Emancipation Proclamation was a turning point in the Civil War. It recast the war as not just a political and military struggle, but a moral one. It infused the Union cause with a new purpose, the fight for human freedom. The proclamation also had international implications. It dissuaded countries like Britain and France, who were considering supporting the Confederacy, from doing so. By turning the war into a fight against slavery, Lincoln made it politically unviable for countries opposed to slavery to support the Confederacy. The Emancipation Proclamation was a watershed moment, but Lincoln's work was far from over. His next challenge was to ensure that the promise of freedom was not just a wartime measure, but a lasting reality. The stage was now set for the next chapter in Lincoln's fight for equality, the Gettysburg Address and the 13th Amendment. In one of the most iconic speeches in American history, Lincoln reframed the Civil War as a struggle for freedom and equality. This was the Gettysburg Address, delivered in November of 1863. On that day, Lincoln stood on a battlefield where just months earlier, soldiers from the North and South had clashed in one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War. His address was brief, lasting only a few minutes, but it was powerful. Lincoln used this moment to redefine the purpose of the war, shifting the focus from preserving the Union to a higher moral cause, the principle of human equality. He began by invoking the founding principles of the United States, stating that the nation was conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. He then declared that the Civil War was a test of whether a nation founded on these principles could endure. Lincoln's words resonated deeply with the American public, transforming their understanding of what they were fighting for. The speech marked a turning point, not just in the Civil War, but in the nation's history. Yet, Lincoln's commitment to freedom and equality didn't stop at speeches. He played a critical role in the passage of the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution. This was a revolutionary piece of legislation, abolishing slavery throughout the nation. Its passage was far from certain, requiring a two-thirds majority in a deeply divided Congress. Lincoln, however, was determined. He used his political acumen, persuasive powers, and even some old-fashioned arm-twisting to secure the necessary votes. His efforts paid off. The 13th Amendment passed in January of 1865, forever banning slavery in the United States. With the passage of the 13th Amendment, slavery was abolished. Yet, Lincoln wouldn't live to see its full impact. He was assassinated just months later. But his legacy lived on. His words, his actions, and his unwavering commitment to the principle of equality helped shape the nation we know today. Lincoln's Gettysburg Address and his role in the passage of the 13th Amendment remain enduring testaments to his vision for a more equal and just America. Lincoln's life was cut tragically short, but his legacy lived on. In April of 1865, just days after the end of the Civil War, an assassin's bullet silenced the voice of the man who had guided the nation through its darkest hour. The nation plunged into mourning, having lost a leader who had not only preserved the Union, but also redefined its purpose. Abraham Lincoln's legacy is as vast as it is complex. He is remembered as the great emancipator, the man whose Emancipation Proclamation and tireless push for the 13th Amendment led to the abolition of slavery. His leadership during the Civil War, his dedication to the Union, and his commitment to the cause of freedom have earned him the admiration of many. However, it's important to note that Lincoln's views and policies have also been subject to criticism and controversy. Some argue that his views on race were a product of his time, that he was more committed to preserving the Union than to abolishing slavery. Yet others point out that his views evolved significantly over his lifetime, shifting towards a belief in racial equality. But there's no denying the impact Lincoln had on the course of American history, particularly 
in relation to the rights and freedoms of African Americans. His Emancipation Proclamation may have had its limitations, but it was a crucial first step towards the end of slavery. The 13th Amendment, which officially outlawed slavery, was a testament to Lincoln's commitment to this cause. Moreover, Lincoln's vision of a nation defined by liberty, equality and justice, as eloquently expressed in his Gettysburg Address, continues to resonate today. His belief in the principle that all men are created equal continues to inspire movements for social justice and civil rights. Indeed, Abraham Lincoln's presidency marked a turning point in American history. His actions set the stage for the civil rights movement, for the ongoing struggle for racial justice and equality. Lincoln's presidency forever altered the course of American history, particularly in the fight for the rights and freedoms of African Americans. That's it for today. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time.